hello everyone so again welcome back to my channel and i am parnavi jain and aap sabhi ko pata hai that today we are going to make the bmi calculator and first of all let me tell you the what is bmi calculator right so bmi calculator is a kind of calculator you can say is the calculation to check whether a specific person is overweight or underweight right so as you have seen or whether you have to check you just google it and this type bmi calculator and then the same thing appears to you and you have to give input that you, what is your weight and then what's your height and then immediately it will calculate and will tell you that whether you are overweight underweight or healthy right so today we are going to do the same code and i will explain you the each and every part of it and first of all let me tell you it is not tough it is not at all tough to learn this bmi calculator code right so here you can see my cursor i have already run it okay stop and return okay so first of all let me show you everything Yes, so here it is. Hey, let's check your weight. Then, uh, type your weight in kg. It is mandatory to type weight in kg, right? So suppose my weight is fifty, and uh, and then the computer asks to you type your weight in meters. And I know my is one point six one. And uh, so yes, my BMI is nineteen point two eight and something. So it's written that yes, I'm healthy. So what's the code behind this? So today I'm going to explain each and everything. Okay, so let's just start. So here you can see my cursor, the B M I calculator. First of all, this hashtag here. This is used for comment out. Uh, for example, that whether or when a person is doing uh, all the enough codes. For example, let's take an example of. Uh, Google. So as everybody knows, the there is enough code behind it. So there are something that we need to comment out. That means that we need to give us a hint that if you are using something different, then you will comment it out. Or just you know, in English we use brackets. The uh, I am Parnavi, and in bracket I will write girl. That means it's from me for my information. I'm using that. Okay, so for the same, I am using BMI calculator. If see, if I have written, hey, let's check your weight in, let's check your weight. Then here I will put a hashtag, and then I will write here that you have to put inverted commas. That means I will remember the same thing when I will see the code, and I will keep in mind that yes, I have to do this and I have to do that, right? So this BM, uh, this hashtag helps to keep it at command out, right? Okay, so now let's start the code. So here you can see, just this. Only these lines one, two, three, four, five, or uh, I don't know. I'm not going to count it. So only these are the lines that we need to learn. Okay. So first of all, we will write print. And now what the print means that we want computer to write the exact thing that we want. Okay. So print and then these curl brackets. These are known as parentheses, right? Yes, these, right? So then whatever we are writing, we have to do the same in brackets, right? So these parentheses and then we use inverted commas and inverted commas as everybody know we use for a statement and this is because we want computer to write the exact same statement that we are writing here. So we have written here. Let's check your weight, and you can see here the same thing shows. Let's check your weight. So I have written print, and then let's check your weight. And again in second line here, I have shows type your weight in kg, and here also print. Then I have used parentheses. Here I closed it. Then here inverted commas, and then type your weight in kg, right? Okay. So when we will run it, see here from here I'm going to run, run again. So it will show us, hey, let's check your weight. And in second line, type your weight in kg, right? 
so in third one we are using weight and let me tell you it's not necessary to write weight but for our consultancy for ourselves we are writing here weight and weight is a kind of variable as everybody knows what is variable in which we can put any constant right uh, for example x is equal to 6 x is equal to 5 so that we can keep changing the constant right for suppose you have a container if you want to keep price in there so you can and if you whatever you want you can do inside it right so here we have just give the name of a variable as weight so this is just a variable weight and then here we have used float and what this float means float there are three types of things float integers and string strings are just simply used for the text or suppose if i have written here string that input input means the input we have to give to user the thing that we have to sorry the input we have to give in computer it means we have to give the input we have to write something so that is termed as input right so here if I have written string instead of float so that means the input must be in the statement right so and here if I have written integer int is used and for string we have used str so if I have used string instead of float then I have to write the specific number not in decimal specific numbers for example 46 that means suppose i am writing my weight is 48 and if any oh sorry it's 50 and if anyone wants to write its weight is 50.5 or 48 point something then it will show error if we have not written integer sorry if we have not written float here right so that is why i use integer uh, float and now in this statement the print statement again here we have used input just keep in mind we have to use parentheses always right in some cases we don't need but this is necessary and then input and input brackets and then this bracket is left for our writing that we will write it here and then in next line we have written print type your weight in kgs right this is for ourselves that we come to know when we press enter here enter it shows type height in meters okay so we have to type our height so here the same thing i have written print then again the same thing we have done here also print type height in meters and in inverted commas here right so the computer shows us the same thing that is type height in meters and in the next line again we have written same as weight height is equal to float and then the same statement we have used just we have changed the variable right just the name of the variable i mean here we have used weight and here i'm using height and everything is same right and then after i write my 1.61 then i press enter then it shows hey your bmi is 19 point and how does this happen okay so afterwards after writing height is equal to float in this code then we have to tell the computer what is exactly bmi or what is bmi what's the formula so here as everybody knows that the formula of bmi is weight upon height square here we have used two stars not one because one would consider as multiplied by two and we want it two times i mean square right so here we have written bmi is equal to weight divided by height square and here weight is the value that we have input 50 so the computer will automatically write weight here and upon 1.61 whole square here and then it will show us the value then i have written print again hey your bmi is, is equal to whatever we have written in the inverted commas will be shown directly as we want for example here i have written hey your bmi is and i have used also this equals to sign so the same thing it shows hey your bmi is is equal to and then i have used comma bmi comma bmi symbolize 
this bmi here you can see when i click on this it shows this one this one this one that means comma bmi means the value of bmi that comes out will be printed here so here i have written hey it shows hey your bmi is equal to 19 point this is this is that means the computer puts the value of 50 and 1.6 in this formula and shows us the bmi here right and now this is this if then else statements from here we have used conditions that how we come to know that your you are healthy or you are overweight or anything just by writing the values right so behind this the code is if if is used as agar okay agar humne likha hai ki agar hamara weight 25 se kam hai if our weight sorry if our weight is greater than 25 it means agar hamara weight 25 se zyada hua see we have used greater than sign that means the value of bmi is greater to humne yahan likha hai if a bmi is greater than 25 see the statement if a bmi is greater than 25 then it will print print and then the same thing the same reason the same reason of print is same as all here we have print then inverted commas and type your height in meters the same thing we have done here print and then hey you are overweight that means we know that if our bmi is greater than 25 then we know that we are overweight so here the same thing i have written if bmi comes 20 uh, more than 25 that means the value of bmi the computer will calculate is more than 25 then it will make this condition true then it will appears as that hey you are overweight right and if this l if is used ki agar कि अगर हमारा वेट 18 से कम है ठीक है अगर हमारा वेट 18 से कम है सो देन वी विल राइट प्रिंट यू आर अंडरवेट द सेम थिंग इज एल्स दैट वी हैव यूज्ड इफ एंड एल इफ नाउ द व्हाट थिंग इज लेफ्ट इज एल्स हमने यह किया है अगर हमारा वेट 25 से ज्यादा है सो इट विल प्रिंट अस हे यू आर ओवरवेट और अगर 18 से कम है तो वो शो करेगा यू आर अंडरवेट और अगर एल्स मींस इसके अलावा इसके अलावा वो शो करेगा यू आर हेल्दी अपार्ट फ्रॉम दीज थिंग्स अंडरवेट अंडर 18 एंड ओवर 25 इट विल शो अस यू आर हेल्दी इट विल प्रिंट यू आर हेल्दी दैट मींस if your weight is between 18 and 25 between the range of 18 and 25 that means 19 20 21 22 23 24 then it will show us you are healthy as you can see here my bmi is 19.289 and something something so it shows me you are healthy right so all this was the code and i'm going to start it again okay suppose my weight is 100 enter and my height is one meter here then it shows hey your bmi is here the same code we have written hey your bmi is, is equals to comma bmi so the value of my bmi is 100 and then this condition this condition makes it correct that our bmi is 100 which is greater than 25 that is why it shows us hey you are overweight here it is written hey you are overweight right so again let's try once more time suppose my weight is 10 um yeah my weight is 10 and enter and my height is 1.6 enter here the same thing hey your bmi is hey your bmi is then comma bmi bmi shows the value 3.9 that means this time my bmi is 3.9 and as we have written here that if our BMI is under 18, that means either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, under 18, then it will show us you are underweight. Here it is written, 
you are underweight and now the same thing that I have written in starting is 50 enter 1.6 enter so hey your BMI is 19 it's my actual BMI and I'm healthy right so this is the thing and I can add one more thing here you can see mm. yes okay now again start and uh, then 1.6 enter oh okay then I have to write my own 50 enter 1.6 enter see how does thank you appears here and what does forward slash and represent forward slash and means this from this thing from this forward slash and symbolize the next line that means whenever we write forward slash and that means we are giving command to computer to write the next word or the next statement from the next line so that's why we use forward slash and you can see if we remove this one okay and then we have put you are healthy thank you in the inverted commas then let's see what will happen it's 50 enter 1.6 enter you are healthy thank you so to make the statement in the next line or to leave a line we use forward slash n okay this we use forward slash and small n and you can leave space or not it's depend on you if you want to start the next line with the space then you can leave space and if not then it will by default it will start from starting only okay here 50 enter 1.6 enter c by default there is no space so you are healthy thank you so i hope you all like it and please give it a tip and subscribe and if you want more videos regarding this i will make it for you and i'm thinking to make a simple calculator and this is especially for beginners as i am also a beginner and i have uh, coded this before one month and then my exam started so now I have started practice from today I will do again start the practice of Python and here I want to show you all the things that I have done here this is only for practice so I have even calculate a uh, make a calculator whatever I have learned till now from this only I have made a calculator also so in the next video i'm sure i will make a calculator of you can make of any numbers it's one two three it's totally depend on you and i have made of two digit numbers but it's depending on you and you can do it by yourself after seeing my video so i hope so you will like this till then bye and please don't forget to subscribe my channel if and if you want such more videos you will be get notified after this and thank you